Um, I want to ask you about um, what's happening in Greece. Man. And what do you what do you think about that? And I don't know, maybe some of you listeners don't know, but Greece is going through real upheaval. Um, the, the, they don't have enough money to to make some of their payments on their debt. Um, so austerity measures have been placed upon them, really, right. by the financial institutions of the world and the European Union in order to bail them out, to right. bail out Greece. Um, so the, the people of Greece are pushing back on that. They're right. getting out in the streets and they're saying, no, we don't want these austerity measures. Right. However, it looks as if uh, the government is going to go ahead with it because in a way, and, and, and I'm going to hear what you think about this, I think the government's in a um, it's in between a rock and a hard place. Yes, it is. Um, because if it doesn't do the austerity measures, they're not going to be able to get money to bail them out so they can try to rebuild their economy. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if they do these austerity measures, in many ways it damages the economy. It certainly hurt, hurts the poor. And it could put them in a position where they're, where they're actually, they, 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 the government could fall. Right. You know, maybe there, won't, there might be a whole new government or maybe even a whole new economic system. We have to see how the people react. Right. So I was wondering what what you thought about what's going on in Greece? Well, um, the the situation in Greece is critical, but we see this situation, first of all, what's happening in Greece is happening in other parts of the world, because right now we're going through a worldwide, some would say recession, other people would say depression. Officially, the powers that be anyway are not calling it a depression yet, of course. But, but it is worldwide. Right. And the same mobilization of the masses of people that we see on the streets of Greece, we've actually seen on the streets of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. You know, when Puerto Rico laid off thousands of public sector workers, you know, cut back social programs to the bone. Uh, so, and Puerto Rico is here in the Western Hemisphere. Right. You know, we see. Uh, similar kinds of upheaval in France. Uh, I believe it was last year in France. So it's, it's worldwide in scope. Greece is a uh, particularly poignant case because uh, they could default. Right. Uh, Greece is not the wealthiest European country. And um, in fact, I heard as of this morning that uh, Wall Street is Think the, the thinking on Wall Street is that they are going to default on this, and then and if they default, that's going to have a serious impact on banks that have loaned to Greece that are not in Greece. Right. You know, so this could have a ripple effect throughout the European Union. Right. You know, and even here in the United States, because all of these economies are hooked up. I think the good thing. If there, if, if there can be a good thing about a dire situation like this, is that the people of Greece are on the move. Right. They're on the move like I have never seen them on the move before. They're having general strikes, uh, marches and protests, uh, similar to what the people of Egypt had mm -hmm. uh, to overthrow Mubarak. Right. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It seems to me, I haven't heard the latest news, but as of this morning, um, experts were saying that they think that the government was going to pass the austerity yeah, package. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, and uh, and that government may they may pass this program in the short term, but it's not over. No. You know, the government might fall right. because that package of measures is so draconian. Right. You know. I've heard the people speaking, you know, speaking on the news, yeah. the Greek people speaking on the said we can't live. Right. We can't, how can we live like this? Right. You know, so uh, we should keep our eye on Greece because what happens in Greece could set the tone. Portugal, Spain. Right. I've heard um, they talk about a domino effect in Ireland. Who's next? Ireland. Right. Right. You know, all the, and you know, the irony of all of this is, is that, you know, places like Ireland, they were calling it the Celtic Tiger. That's right. That's <laughs> because, right. you know, that was the place to go That's right. not, to invest. Not many years ago. That, right, not many years, not many ago, years ago to invest and this and that. Right. And now Ireland, you know, is not in 
that much better shape than Greece. Right. You know, and um, so let me add another wrinkle to this, mm -hmm. and then we we'll move on to the second part. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 The same. Um, from what I can tell, and, and and not that I've paid a lot of attention over the years to uh, financial institutions and what they've been doing to right. other countries. However. I do know that it seems that these very same austerity measures and the different policies that the World Bank and the IMF want Greece to put into place, mm -hmm. uh, those are the same things they asked third world countries to put into place right. um, so they could get loans. Right. And during all these years, let's say over the past 20, 30 years, mm -hmm when these other countries, there were not Western countries, there were not developed countries, mm -hmm. none of those countries cared that that's what was happening right. to these developing countries. Right. And and many times, if I remember correctly, uh, on people were paying, these countries were paying back right, on, on the, the service, on the debt, service, right. not even on the principal, right. more than they were more than they were spending money maybe on health care, right. or they were spending on education. So now what's happening is these banks and the people who control these things, these financial institutions, what they perfected on the third world countries, that's right. They're now using that's on, right. on <laughs> Western that's countries, right. um, and eventually, it's going to be us, possibly. Right. right, right, that's right. So, so the second part of the question, and, and you can speak to that too, but the second part of the question is, you you talked about defaulting. Mm -hmm. Well, what is happening here in this country? Because